Welcome to Uncle Bird's Barbecue, and I'm your favorite uncle, Uncle Bird. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to smoke juicy chicken quarters on the Weber kettle each and every time. Now chicken quarters, they're one of my favorite pieces of meat because not only do they normally turn out juicy and delicious, but they cheap, which is great for when you gotta feed a lot of people that don't got a lot of money. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The tools that we're gonna use in today's video are gonna be a six inch boning knife, a pair of OXO Good Grip Poultry Shears, a 48 blade you call me tenderizer, and a plastic cutting board. First thing you need to do is take the chicken quarters out of the pack. The way you set it up is to make a cut in the corner of the plastic bag so that when you sit the chicken up, all the blood can drain out the bottom of the bag. Then just make a big cut across the top so you can remove the chicken quarters. Now when it comes to cleaning chicken quarters, there's basically two cuts that need to be made. The first cut removes the tail so it doesn't stick out because those small pieces that stick out can cause the meat to dry out. And the second part is going to be that big glob of fat on the bottom. See that's the part that makes people hate leg quarters. So you want to use your poultry shears to remove the tail and that big glob of fat. You want to make sure that you remove any feathers or any other nasty bits that are present. Now when it comes to the feathers they're going to be concentrated down on the drumstick in the area where the feet was removed. In this video, I'll also show you an example of how to trim out the leg quarters using a six inch boning knife. You know, a Dexter Russell, of course. After you have trimmed out all your chicken quarters, you want to jacquard each chicken quarter two to three times, and you want to make sure that one of those times is at the joint. Now that we got our chicken trimmed, now that you have your chicken quarters trimmed out, let's make your brine. Brine is used to tenderize and salt meat all the way down to the bone. The brine is also going to protect the meat from overcooking, so even if you go over 175 degrees with your chicken quarters, they're still going to turn out juicy. Now, the brine that we're going to be making today is a simple brine. It's simply salt and water. There's no need to add any type of special salts because they all work and taste the same. I just use cheap iodized salt and recommend that you do the same. To make your brine, you'll need your two-cup measuring cup. Start out by pouring a cup of water into your measuring cup and then take any type of plain salt and pour it into the water until it reaches the one and a half cup mark. Stir that well with a spoon, pour that resulting slurry into your five quart measuring bowl, make sure to mix it out well and get all the salt out, and then fill it up with water until it reaches the four quart mark. You just wanna mix it really well and then you'll be able to pour it over top of your chicken quarters until they are completely covered with brine. Today we'll be cooking on the 22 inch Weber Kettle Classic with indirect heat, which means that the fire is not gonna be directly under the meat while it's cooking. And the fuel that we'll be using today is gonna to be a hardwood briquette, which is a little bit different than regular charcoal. The hardwood briquettes are simply pressed lump charcoal using a vegetable binder, so they won't have the taste, the chemical taste that you get from regular charcoal. So you wanna get started with a clean grill and open the bottom vent all the way. We'll add the bottom grate to hold the hardwood charcoal. Place your hickory split on the grill, which is going to hold back the hardwood charcoal and it's going to add flavor as the wood burns. You want to make sure that you're using oak and hickory since the chicken is not going to be on the grill very long. We want to get the maximum amount of smoke flavor while we can. So go ahead and fill your chimney up with hardwood charcoal. Pour about two thirds of the unlit coals on the side of the hardwood split. And then use a couple pieces of newspaper to light the remaining about one third that remains in the chimney starter. After the coals are turned white, pour them onto the unlit coals and these coals will burn down like a candle wick. I always allow the wood to start burning before I put the top on to preheat the grill for cleaning. Go ahead and put the top on, let it get a little hot and then use a ball of aluminum foil to clean the grill if you don't have a grill brush. Put the top back on so the heat can stabilize and now we can remove our chicken quarters from the brine and get them seasoned up. Now I'm using Uncle Bird's Hen Peck Seasoning which is a mix of granulated garlic, onion, various seasons and spices, plus a whole lot of love. Now, it's very important that you use a salt-free seasoning or the chicken will be way too salty. Again, for the people in the back and the ones that ain't paying attention, you got to use a salt-free seasoning. And if you're not sure if your favorite rubs contain salt, just look at the ingredient list, it'll tell you. Now, if you're not sure what kind of simple rub to use, you can use a simple rub, which is one part granulated onion, one part granulated garlic, and a half a part black pepper. Now with the chicken quarters, we need to make sure that we're pulling the skin back so that we can season underneath the skin. So use your finger to pull the skin down without tearing it off. This will create a little pocket so that you can drop your seasons down into. Now after you have seasoned underneath the skin with your rub and raw cane sugar, go ahead and pull the skin back and season the outside. Now that the grill is hot and the smoke is blue, we can add our chicken quarters to the grill. 
I always leave the top vent wide open because chicken is best cooked hot and fast. And because there's not gonna be enough room to place all the chicken quarters on the grill directly, we're gonna layer them. And you'll need to rotate the chicken quarters while they smoke. I use a clockwise rotation to rotate the chicken quarters to the fire and then away from the fire. The benefit, one of another benefit of cooking it in layers is that as the fat melts and renders, it's gonna base the chicken quarters that are below it. So again, I, I leave both of my vents wide open because you're gonna to wanna to smoke your chicken quarters hot and fast so that all the fat renders out and, and the skin is not gummy. Now, you'll wanna check on it and spray it a couple of times with distilled white vinegar during the cook. The distilled white vinegar is gonna help tenderize the meat as well as keeping the surface wet so it can continue to absorb smoke. You wanna check your final temperature using your instant wreath thermometer. And as long as it hits 172 degrees in the thigh, you go ahead and take them off and the carryover cooking is gonna take them to the final temperature of 175 degrees. You wanna remember that food is gonna be cooked by temperature, not time. We just use time as a way to estimate the temperature, but you always wanna confirm it with your instant wreath thermometer. Now at this point, they are ready to go and you can place them in the microwave to rest for a few minutes. But the best way to rest them is going to be in a preheated cooler by, by placing the chicken quarters in a chicken oven bag or a freezer bag and place it in a preheated cooler for about 15 minutes. You preheat the cooler by placing hot water in a closed cooler for 30 minutes. You pour the water out, dry it out, and drop in your chicken. Now, let's take a look at what we got. Now, this is a leg quarter that is juicy and delicious. Mm-mm, good. Hey, if you found value in today's video, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch the next video.